it'll get really a big hole in the middle if it's too worn out. Slide that in there. It's re recommended to use gloves to just keep your finger oils off the tip of that. Slide this new 300 amp, or this 300 amp tip down in there. Cap back on. Shield back on. Ready to mount to the machine. All the components in there need to be aligned like this when sticking them in there. Like this, and a quick little turn. Replace, ready for run 300 amp. Make sure your stations are back on. And okay. And we're ready to run. So the program and the code ready to go. So your amperage and thickness right there. Once you're ready, it says go, and just press the green button, go. So we have to watch and make sure it's working correctly. If something didn't load correctly, so I'm gonna go back and reload the program. Just pull the blow through. Now with a fix, cut correctly. Just reloaded the side of the program. is running then we go back to Peter real quick and go up here to set label and then our rim label comes up and we print that print that button as long as the parts are cutting correctly you can just go and wait for it to be done it will come to the end of the program and come up to this and stop and this means you need to start a uh, crop cut just one stop, so sit here and start the button again. Okay. After the cotton cut is finished, you'll come up to this screen here. It's the same with the arms, but you'll come for the job done. Say M30, you just hit job done. Go to jog and cut. Go to crop cut. Finish. Cut off so you didn't quite go all the way across the way. It shows you your cut speed. Okay. Arm it. And latch. And the direction you want to go. Done. Then once you've done that, you hit done. And you're on to your next plate. Move it out of the way. Remove your pieces. Label them, stack them, and load your next plate.